We want the man who is a business to stop a business, wake up one morning and be a different person. So, um, we won't abuse her again. When we ourselves did not wake up one morning and say, Oh, it's time for me to go now. Any decision that you yourself cannot make, that is not easy for you to make, will be so hard for another person to make. But it's your life, your happiness, your well-being that is on the line. Because that person who is abusing you, you're not abusing the person. Exactly like that. It's you that matters here. You are the one who is not safe. Your mental health is not safe in this person's hands. So why don't you save yourself? You are the one who, is, who, who needs to be saved. So why don't you save yourself? Why he become whoever you want him to become out of your life first for you to have a clear mind to think and know that you were in danger. Hi, good to see you. My name is Chioma. Most women get into relationship with their partner and they find that this relationship is toxic. They find it so difficult to leave that relationship and mostly for those people who are so much in love with this partner they believe the partner will change they want to give him a more long group to change to realize that he's making a mistake and this partner uses that love the weakness on the woman's side to deal with the woman he does anyhow because he thinks ah she cannot leave me and for the woman, she has not a responsibility. She can't just leave her guy in this corner and just go. Because she thinks he needs help. She now begins to play the therapist. And in it, she's also taking pain. It's not really easy for her, but she wouldn't go. They know this in a woman. Some of them who knows this, that is not really easy. For the woman to just go i don't even know if it's the reason why they treat them like that because some people live good relationship that is doing well someone who is treating them right is very easy for them to leave the person and go but in a place where they need to be saved where someone needs to go with army and get them out of that place they get stuck there no matter how much you preach i don't know if you have had experience of you see a dear friend of yours or relative who the man is beating is not even providing her anything she's not getting anything in this relationship she's even giving even sometimes that the one who's supplying the men their needs taking care of them but even at that they refuse to go does it mean that women like it where they are responsible for someone where they think oh i need to pity this person i need to care for this person is it this nothing habit in us what god gave us this a nursing kind of life that makes us not to leave the person stranded and say oh let me leave the person at this corner and then go away it's so difficult for women so it's good for someone to know when to step into relationship and when to go mostly when the toxic relationship is involved or the relationship is abusive one should know when to go so when someone thinks that this relationship is not healthy enough that you are feeling suffering instead of feeling love it's time for someone to say no to the relationship and go there's no need waiting for the person to change because the person is not going to ever change it's not going to be easy most people are in a relationship and they find out that this man they are in relationship with doesn't offer them nothing. Not something tangible. Not They are not gaining anything. The man is not even treating you right by any chance. Instead, he's wicked to you. He just naturally wicked to you. And he sees you as the person who will punish. And we sit down there and we stick to the relationship and we are faithful and we obey and submit and succumb to everything every situation and still we are being treated bad and somebody will call us pull us drag us 
Tell us bad things. Quarrel with us. And tell us, this thing you're doing is not right. This man is not going to change. We are stuck there. We stay there. Yes. I will still not go out. Even when the person is proposing to us, we are accepting it. The person is marrying us. We are accepting it. Nothing in our mind at the back of our head. We say, don't take this risk. Don't put yourself into this place. Because when he marry you, it's going to be bad. Because you going as a friend is easy. But going as a wife might be a little bit difficult for you. Stop. Do not say yes. Do not continue this relationship. We cannot. We are so head over heels in love with this man who abuses us. Why? Why can't we know that it's time for us to go when this man is a cheat? This man cannot live without cheating on you. And even at that, we are still there. Men cheat, men cheat, yes. But there are ones that still respect you. That will cheat on you and still hide it. But this one is making it how you can see it. He doesn't care how you feel. He's just doing his thing. I will still be there. Instead, we are dating the man, making him happy. And this is someone who doesn't care about how we feel or how we should be happy. And we are doing all this thing just to have this one relationship. As if there are no other men in this world that are just this one. We tell this man, what am I going to do? Like, we are stuck with this man. No other man outside will value us, will respect us, will want to want us. If not this particular man, that's why we are bent on staying with this man through thick and thin. It doesn't matter what happened. We are going to stay with this man. We tell thinking of our comfort happiness, joy, our rest of mind. Even when we see in TV, in movies, anywhere, even in stories, even when we walk on the street, that we might be convinced and say, oh, this couple, as I'm looking at them, I don't think they're going through this thing I'm going through. We still don't want to find another person. We still don't want to abandon this relationship and be free first, become single in order to have the chance to be approached by another person. We are still stuck in this relationship that is abusing us. We are in a relationship. We know that this man doesn't go a long way to find out if we are happy. He has no plans for us. He's not even intending to marry us. He talks to us anyhow. He has no respect for us and our opinion doesn't matter. We are still stuck into this relationship. When this relationship does not value us, the person we are in the relationship with has no value for us. Hi, my name is Chioma. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, Subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to on the notification bell for my next upload. Thank you so much. This us not going is also one of the reasons why they treat us anyhow. Because we are like, we have no choice. This is our last chance. This place we have. Because the person knows that we are not going to go. The person has done everything to us and wants us to go. Ah, this love is strong. We are not going to go anywhere. Then the person will not treat us anyhow he likes without giving it a thought because the person knows that I've done that, she didn't go. I said the other one, she didn't go. I went to the other place, he didn't go. So, what's the need? She'll be there no matter what I do. And you are there waiting for him to go and come. After all, you have no choice. Even some of us live sometimes. We live sometimes and when we leave, we still come back to this man. One of the things that is causing this thing is that we women, we like one man. That one we know. But we refuse to remember that. When we are somewhere, either we were single or we have dated before. And 
We were surviving before we met this man. Why don't we go? Why can't we leave this relationship and walk in order to take a fresh air? To think about our life, how we can plan and turn a new leaf in order not to be in this same mess. We expect someone to stop treating us bad. He should just become another person. That kind of man we want. That's what we're waiting patiently for him to change into. When we, ourselves, we are not able to change, to tell ourselves, it's time to go. We want the man who is abusing us to stop abusing us. Wake up one morning and be a different person. So, we won't abuse her again. When we, ourselves, did not wake up one morning and say, Oh, it's time for me to go now. Any decision that you yourself cannot make, that is not easy for you to make, will be so hard for another person to make. But it's your life, your happiness, your well-being that is on the line. Because that person who is abusing you, you're not abusing the person. Exactly like that. It's you that matters here. You are the one who is not safe. Your mental health is not safe in this person's hands. So why don't you save yourself? You are the one who is who, who needs to be saved. So why don't you save yourself? Why he become whoever you want him to become out of your life first? For you to have a clear mind to think and know that you were in danger. Have we ever think that any abusive or toxic relationship is going to affect our children? This abusive relationship and the, the marriage, if we happen to end up with this person, is not going to allow us to be happy, to be normal, to have time for our children, to cater for them how we are supposed to, if our mind is not at rest. Because in this relationship, what we'll be doing every time is pursuing how to please this, our master, the man who is abusing you. You will go to every length, even to displease your children, to please him in order to get it right. This is what leads to you marry this man. And he went out. You were so busy doing something. And it's time for the man to come back. You're hurrying to do this, do that, do that. You're just hurrying like... Even you wouldn't do this in your own house. Where your father is coming back. Where is your freedom? When you cannot explain, Oh, let me do this thing now. I couldn't do it because of this. Even when you start explaining... You've already made yourself this person who needed so much excuses to do something. You are trying to sell some of the freedom and rights you have. It's better for you to do your things in your own time. And for you to give that person the chance to have small understanding that you are a woman. You have much to do. A situation, whatever that happens, that made this not to happen. How would you then give the person chance, like in this place we are living where we don't have house girls, to help you when every time you're running afraid, living in fear with the person you are living with because you no longer see that person as your lover, someone you're in a relationship with. You see the person as your abuser. So every time you're doing everything to meet up his needs in order to have that peace. How long will you continue to do this? Women, we should make sure that we are every time in a safe place. When the place they put us is not safe, we try to make this youth one and put us ourselves in a place that we are more balanced. 
instead of looking like this struggling every time to look like this because what you want to face is this side because of the stress you're going to every time you have to look at you have to take that balance to make yourself comfortable marriage relationship it's all about you getting yourself out from where you were because you were alone no one was caring about you it's all about you bringing yourself to a more safe place to safety to secure to well managed pampered taken care of for someone to be there for you and care for you mostly women and if you cannot receive all this love and support you will also be missing some things you will be giving to this your partner in your relationship because you are not really yourself all this time you were there because of fear not being yourself not being relaxed not thinking well you won't be yourself the person will never know who you are because you've never been yourself you are just acting what fear is making you to act let's find a way to have rest and know when it's time for us to walk and know also the kind of people we choose as our partner because this is not going to help us in any chance i know you will want to be happy relaxed safe like other people than to be in a relationship where you are being enslaved in this time without knowing that others are not hundred percent going through this same thing put yourself safe and relax have everything check yourself and see if your relationship is safe is it toxic are you happy is there any way you can call this person to talk with the person does this person mean well for you does he want the best for you and the best for himself so that the person can have you in fullness for you to bring out your real self show the person who you are how good well mannered caring how lovely you can be for this relationship to be all of us both you and him i wish you well and i hope that your relationship goes well that you achieve that thing which you dream and wish for in the following days Take that decision that will uplift you, that will make you happy and a better person. Thank you so much. Bye bye.